Oh, hey, hey guys, you know, sorry, just having my morning cup of brew, you know, gotta get all amped up. I got something super bad beep for you. We're gonna be talking about mullets. Mullets, what makes mullets so awesome? Well, in today's video, we're gonna get all about it coming right up. All right, guys, before we get into mullets, let's kind of like talk a little bit about what a mullet is or what kind of mullet you might see around. Well, number one, there's kind of the rocker mullet, right? I'm gonna go and show you a photo of that right now. There is a fashion mullet. Let's go ahead and show you a photo of that. There's gonna be a trash mullet, you know, maybe any sort of yeah, we all kind of know what that one is. You know, there might be an extended mullet, there might be a, you know, but the favorite term that I like to use when referring to a mullet is a show low. I mean, I don't know if that's because I'm from the west side here in Utah, but it basically means short long. You know, I really like your show low. I like your show low. Yeah. Why are mullets trending right now? Well, let's think here. So there's a celebrity. She might not be the most ideal celebrity, but Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus is getting a lot of traction right now. Her mullet is kind of looking a little bit like Princess Diana. She's bringing out her inner Princess Diana. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a photo of that. Let's talk about that and let's discuss a little bit more about you know, how to achieve that look. And that is what today's video is about. So if you want to achieve something close to that, stay tuned, let's start the cutting right now. So one of the first things you want to do, start with the center part, okay? Pretty simple, right through there. Um, the, that specific type of mullet has a very full kind of fringe. There's a lot of hair cut in that specific area. So we're gonna find where that front area lives, okay? We did that right to there. Um, so this is where this is gonna be essentially that front portion right there. Now, in this specific, on this mannequin head right through here, you guys, this color might look a little bit familiar. It's wet right now, so it might not look super familiar. But I actually did a video where I talk and I, I broke this down into two completely separate colors. You can actually see that right through here. You can see how this one's very, very linear. You know, it's like a little bit more chunky. It's a little bit more natural over here on this side. So if you guys wanna know how I color this, I'm going to go ahead and link that video boop, right there, okay? We're gonna be starting off with the shortest area, which is actually gonna be right here in this frontal portion through here. I'm gonna divide this into three sections. We're gonna have one, then we're gonna have two, and then we're gonna have three right through here. So let's cut this first. Before I start this, right, you're gonna be determining really kind of what tool you wanna to use. I'm gonna be using a razor to cut through this because I wanna get a fairly kind of loose but heavy looking fringe. Now, how I wanna do this, I'm not gonna come in and just cut this right over the top. I'm actually gonna come in and I'm going to kind of put it in and I'm just gonna start by cutting out some of this hair. Now, I'm gonna start that about eyebrow level and then start by kind of carving this out just a little bit. And I'm kind of going just back and forth and I'm, again, just creating like these little bit of channels. As you can see, I go this way and then I go this way. And so you'll actually see that these pieces kind of come to a point because you're going short to long, short to long each way. And so you're cutting these little V's in there. And then out here on this end, I don't come this way. I'll just extend that way because we're gonna actually have that line go that way. Okay, now I'm gonna actually take down my second section right through here. Now my second section, as you can see, 
I don't need to go as short as I did underneath. Because I'm going to slightly be kind of building this weight right up on top. Now you kind of shake that through and you can start to kind of see how that's gonna have that very soft look to it. Again, just coming through, right through this top portion here, combing this directly straight forward. Okay, now that we've established where that fringe is going to be, and you can see as you kind of start to brush that down, it actually has a little bit more length. It's gonna kind of reach out to that eye. It's not gonna be like that. It's actually going to shrink up just a little bit, which is fine, which is again, you know, a mullet really kind of shows off that face, you know, because again, this is probably most likely going to be the shortest area right through here. Since a mullet is essentially goes from short to long, okay? I mean, you could do extreme fashion mullets where this is taken off completely. I mean, this is super short in here. This is gonna be more commercial based kind of mullet. So this is also gonna be very a very desired look for consumers. Because again, Princess Di was a very, she was a very trendy haircut when she kind of had something very similar to this. So. Think about that when you are doing this, if you're a hairdresser watching, you know, that's gonna be a very commercial desired kind of look for them. Versus like, if you're going more extreme on youth, you could take this a lot shorter. Once we get to that point, we're going to start to kind of bring in the rest of it. So I'm going to take a section right through my front hairline, right through there. I'm gonna push the rest of this hair back. I'm still gonna keep using a razor because a razor creates a lot of softness. So I'm gonna take from my longest portion right through here. And then what I wanna do is I'm going to basically go in and I'm going to kind of dip underneath and I'm gonna create, as you can see, see how I did that, you create all of that softness right through there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm gonna cut those ends off, okay? Now, the crazy thing about that is that now you're going to create texture and then your outside length. So go in, point, go in, point, go in, point that out, just like that. Let's go ahead and do this side, just like that, just like that like that and just like that okay see how he did that now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come out and we're gonna do the rest of it just like that so you create texture within texture So as you can see, I'm just gonna recap really, really quick here. So again, we established where that fringe is gonna be and then we cut in with a razor and we cut like these Vs, right? Then what we did from there is we actually took this side, so right up against that hairline, brought this forward and we cut the inside, okay? Then we cut that perimeter. So we're actually building that texture as we start to kind of cut that length off. And as you can start to see, we did that on the left and the right. And as you start to kind of look at this, you actually have like, this is essentially, this is a mullet, right? You have so much happening right through this specific area right through here. Um, a fashion mullet, let's just talk a little bit of a fashion mullet. You could essentially cut this fringe and you could cut this all the way across like that. And then you can have that length drop off into that area. This is gonna be a little bit softer because it's gonna round out towards the face. Now, keeping this length, should we keep this length? I personally love this length up against how short this is. Is a consumer going to want this? I'm gonna say half yes, half no. Because 
that might be too extended of a length for her as far as when it comes to a mullet. Or a man, right? Man could have this as well, right? This is, this is not, I mean, whatever. Man, woman, child, I've seen it all. So anybody could rock this, right? Now, if we're going for something a little bit more commercial, we're gonna cut some of this length off in the back. I personally love it, but I'm kind of a fun guy. So wanting to have more of that funness, you know, I would keep it. But again, you wanna make it a little bit more consumer, let's cut that length off. But how we're gonna do that, guys, is I am basically just gonna bring this down and I'm gonna to start to just kinda of cut some of this length off. And I'm really just gonna go in with my razor and I'm really just going to kinda of soften up that length down through there. And as I start to really just let that razor kind of just take off a little bit of that length through there. I'm gonna come over here to this other side and I'm really just gonna let that razor do the work. And as I kind of stroke that back and forth, Oh my gosh, he just said stroke. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that's neither here nor there, right? But just let that razor, the weight of that razor, just remove that length, guys. And you can start to see how, again, it doesn't look so crazy extended. I'll come over here to this side as well, and I'm just gonna take a little bit more length off right through here. Take off that last little piece, and I'll go over through here, extend this over, and I'm gonna take off a little bit more, and I'll take out a little bit of weight through there. And as you kind of look at that, and again, it's not so extreme having that length like all the way down to the middle of her back. I mean, that would be a moule, a moule, where you're like, woo, look at that show long, look at that show low. Is that a show low? <laughs> look at that thing. Now through this back area, guys, really, really quick, I'm gonna take this center back portion, and I'm just going to layer just a little bit right through here, just a skosh right through there. We're gonna go ahead and dry this, guys and uh, let's check back. And as you start to dry this, I want you guys to really pay attention to how I had actually colored this. And again, if you wanna learn how I colored this, I'm gonna link that boop, right there. But let's go ahead and get this dry. All right, guys, so as you are starting to dry this, right? As you start to look at this shape, you might be like, ooh, wow, what's going on? But I'm gonna, I'm gonna share something with you which is gonna probably change your game as styling. Now, if you're gonna be looking at Princess Diana and or Miley Cyrus and what they're doing. Now, this style is not polished like a beach wave or polished like you know, you're smoothing it out. It's almost kind of like they have such a rough kind of undone texture to it to where when I was blow drying, I was actually using just a blow dryer. As you can see, that blow dryer in itself is like just kind of like there's no nozzle on it, there's no diffuser on it. And I was just kind of blow drying the hair. I wasn't blasting it everywhere, but I was just kind of blow drying it, getting it dry, right? Now, you wanna kind of have that because if you look at this, it's got kind of like some volume, it's a little bit bigger, it's not as polished. Now, this is exactly where you wanna be when you're, when you're trying to create that kind of style. Now, with something like this, you can diffuse it. You know, diffusing it's just gonna give you more definition in there. Um, you can smooth this out straight, of course you can do that. I don't really need to go in and remove any more texture because I removed quite a bit of texture when I was cutting it wet. If you skip through and you didn't see that, go ahead and rewind and check and see how I did that. Because again, that means that I don't have to go in and cut it when it's dry. But I am gonna go in and finish this off, right? Now this is Sumo Tech from Bumble and Bumble. This is actually a paste product. It looks just like so, just like that. Now we're gonna go in and I'm going to use some of this product. As you can see, it's in my hand. You wanna smell that? It smells good, man. It's awesome. 
You're gonna go in and I'm going to go in because it is more of a paste. You can see that on my hands. Now, the thing that I wanna do is that with it being more of a paste, it's gonna have a little bit more texture. And so you're going to get a lot more kind of volume throughout the hair. Now again, if you were to look and see, now Princess Diana, she didn't have a lot of product in her hair. Her hair was kind of, like this is back in the 80s, guys. Like, it's like people's hair kind of looked a lot more um, kind of dry looking, right? Now, of course, with somebody like Miley, Miley can have some product in there that's gonna create a little bit more of like that texture. Now, as I kind of keep playing around with that, that product is kind of melting a little bit in my hands. And you can start to see how that texture in front is really kind of has like that PC kind of look to it. But I mean, again, you're creating volume, which I really, really dig. And I'm kind of scrunching this in there. So it's really giving a little bit more definition I hope you guys made it this far in the video and I hope that you guys found value in today's technique, in today's look, and basically just, you know, this, this, this whole thing going on right here. See, I made it flat right here. I'm just kind of leaning on it. I'm kind of leaner when it comes to this. I'm like, you know what? Again, like she's not sitting in my chair or in my studio, but I mean, if I was gonna leave, they'd be like, man, you're making my hair flat. No, I'm not. I'm just kind of making it more lived in. Guys, I truly hope that you guys found value in today's video. I hope that I'm inspiring you to be a better hairdresser or to just be, have better hair if you're a consumer watching. I appreciate you guys viewing. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I would appreciate that. Morgan would appreciate that. You know what? We're in it for the long haul, guys. If you guys haven't liked this, you haven't commented, go ahead and leave some love. I like love, we all like love. If you guys have not seen my video where I'm actually, we film in my friend's warehouse, it's a coffee video. If you guys haven't seen it, I would recommend it, video right there, boop. But go ahead and check the link below for the products I use today. And I'm gonna get you 25% off my favorite coffee. Go ahead and check that out below. I will see you guys in the next video.